So uh, what we have is we have the tangent of negative 13 pi over 12. And I broke that down into the addition of two angles, negative 3 pi over 4 and negative pi over 3. So again, what we need to do is you notice that we're going to be figuring out the tangent of both of those angles. So I need to make sure I sketch the angles and determine what the tangent value is for both angles. So negative uh, pi over 3 is going to be right here. And uh, negative pi over 3, we're going to have a positive 1 half comma a negative square root of 3 over 2. So to find the tangent of that angle, so tangent of negative pi over 3 is going to be the y coordinate over the x coordinate. which will be a negative square root of 3. Then we need to determine what the tangent of negative 3 pi over 4, which is going to be right there. And that coordinate point is negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative square root of 2 over 2. So the tangent of negative 3 pi over 4 is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2 divided by negative square root of 2 over 2, which equals 1. Everybody follow me so far? I just evaluated for my two angle, my two points. I just found the tangent for each one. Take the y coordinate over the x coordinate. Chapter 4.2 worked in. So now we have the tangent of my two angles, u and v. Well, I need to determine which one's going to be u, which one will be v. So I'll label this point is going to be my u, and then this one's my v. So now we're just going to simply plug them into our formula. So I have tangent of u, which is the tangent of negative 3 pi over 4, which we said was 1, plus the tangent of v, which is negative pi over 3, which is a negative square root of 3, divided by 1 minus the tangent of u, again, is uh, negative 3 pi or negative square root of 3. Tangent of u, no, is going to be times 1 times the tangent of v, which we said tangent of v is the tangent of negative pi over 3, which is negative the square root of 3. OK, so now let's just go and simplify real quick. And what we have is 1 minus the square root of 3 over 1 plus the square root of 3. Because my two subtraction signs are going to um, make a positive. So now, that's rational. And now what we need to do is rationalize the denominator to get our radical um, off the bottom and also get it as a monomial. So we'll multiply by the conjugate, which is not that. OK, so we need to do two different things. Let's go through FOIL again real quick. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you do FOIL, inner, outer, first, inner, outer, last, right? So therefore, this problem, you get 1 squared minus the square root of 3 minus the square root of 3. Positive, um, square, negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is going to be a positive 3. Therefore, my final answer here is going to be 4 uh, minus 2 square root of 3. Then we have here, which is a difference of two squares, which you could still do FOIL for, but Remember, guys, we practiced about a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So you notice this is a difference in two squares. So instead of doing the first in, outer inner last, we really can just square our first two terms and then square the last two terms, which is just going to equal a negative 2. So therefore, by multiplying the numerator and then multiplying the denominator, I now have a rational expression of 4 minus 2 squared of 3 divided by negative 2. That goes in there, and that came from there. Does everybody kind of follow what I did? Question? OK. So now we can simplify this to equal a negative 2. So I have negative 2 plus the square root of 3. And that will be your final tangent to answer. Question? Good? Just copy.